Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, again, was voted the most popular tune of rock's history. Keep that in mind as I share this taped excerpt with you. In the lyrics of the song, they sing, The Piper is calling you to join him. She's buying her stairway to heaven. We know that's not possible. And also they say, words have two meanings. They certainly do have two meanings. This is where the subliminal message comes in that we've been talking about in the previous interview. The subliminal message is, a satanic message that was put on their record, Stairway to Heaven, in reverse. And what I mean by in reverse is by taking the record, putting it in a neutral position, and spinning the record backward. He's saying, in a human voices, in reverse, listen, we've been there. <laughs> then they sing, in reverse now, Because I Live. <laughs> Serve me. There's no escape in it. Satan. If we. If we. Gotta live for Satan. Master Satan. The message that they have all together that they wanted you to hear in a subliminal way on the back or in reverse of Stairway to Heaven was this. Listen, we've been there. Because I live, serve me. There's no escape in it. Satan. If we gotta live for Satan, master Satan. Listen to it as they sing their message together. tape, I came across another part that made me throw my headphones right off my head. I couldn't believe what I heard. I kept thinking about the verse that describes hell in the Bible as a wailing and a gnashing of teeth. A 
they have an album called Presence. Now this is pictured on their album of a family sitting around a table, around an oddly shaped object in the middle of the table. And then you turn a record album over and the picture shows a boy and a girl sitting at a teacher's desk. The teacher has her hand on the, on the object and on his head like she's drawing power from this object and putting it into the boy's head. Now it looks kind of strange, but there's an explanation for it. Page said this about that oddly shaped object, and I quote, the design is to symbolize the force that enables the group to so profoundly affect audiences, a power that is simply referred to as a presence. It sounds like they have an outside force helping them, the force that enables the group to so profoundly affect audiences. It also sounds like a piece of Star Wars, may the force be with you. I think we know what force they're talking about. Again, another rock group who is tied definitely in with the occult. They had a definite message to give, who they are serving through their music. 